Hey guys, and welcome back to a hardcore group. Four lives left, you ask? Yeah, that's nothing to worry about. Nothing bad happened. We're just a humble group of four people. Wait, no, no, no. Stop walking. Stop walking. You're going to be in the shot. No. Now. 77 last man standing point 17 wins we're doing all right out here and now i can purchase a rune pouch note hopefully i can trade this to my account which is going to be doing the inferno it is tradable so can't see why not trading the rune pouch notes over to the main account of the five and it's really good because i could just sit there bolting ammonite crabs while i did lms on one of the other members and that's the rune pouch another item i need for the inferno i'm playing hardcore group iron man on a solo mission with five accounts and five oh uh, four lives. I have 21 days left to either complete the Inferno or wipe the entire group. The Ammonite Crab Adventures are going great. 700k range XP, which puts me at level 70 range. Congratulations, I can now wear Black Dehyde. So now that I'm 70 range, word on the street is there's a little black dehyde body down here with my name on it. But first, I'm going to unlock dig site pendants. After the rune pouch, I did some more LMS on the yellow account. And what can I say? Poliv Niche General Store is the new MVP for rune arrow selling. If you know, you know. I always forget about this wormhole from the Shanty Pass to Port Sarim Jail. Such a good travel tip. And here I am in Port Sarim on yellow and pink accounts. As usual, these guys are doing the fun jobs. They're collecting crafting supplies. They really do get abused. And while everything is going on, I still have the green account woodcutting because I need to train my fletching level to 65 so I can make diamond bolts. This grind is nearly over, but I've been logged into this account for 40, 50 hours at this point. I've made all the molten glass into stuff from the charters and got a bunch of crafting XP. That is 49 crafting, the required level for dig site pendants. Wait. Why did I think it was 49? It's 40. I did all that for nothing. I mean, it's not a total waste of time. Last video, we went to Zora to get the best in slot range helmet. The snakeskin bandana. Completely worth the life sacrifice. And dig site pendants are not achieved because I need to find the necklace. That actually took like half an hour to find. I thought they made this thing faster. And finally, dig site pendants unlocked. It's so good because I can get straight back to Fossil Island and AFK on those ammonites. Another side perk from the crafting grind is I can now make diamond rings. A diamond ring enchants into a ring of life. And I can put one of these on each account. So if I disconnect or I don't pay attention, I'm less likely to die. I don't want to lose any more lives. It is time to risk another life. I'm going to be doing the deranged archaeologist. The boss has a 1 in 21 chance of dropping a black dehyde body. However, it's also got a max hit of 56. So it's a good job my hit points is Body, let's go 13 kc unlucky for some but not me i've got a lot of good stuff from here as well three runite limbs that'll be good for a rune crossbow that is perfect though another item knocked off the inferno gear list i'm starting to look kind of good you know <laughs> look at my gang the snakeskin warriors the main needs an upgrade though he can't be seen dead with these fools and this is how it's going doing a quest on the main chaos druids on two accounts for herbs and prayer xp and of course the chin catcher Going for those huge range levels. That account is grinding it out right now. Uh, what? As a hardcore Iron Man, if you die, you lose a life inside here. I mean, I kind of knew that already, but that's a new message. It makes me think that if you die to the fourth form, I'll lose my status. Hardcore group Iron Man. It specifies group, so... Um, do I actually have to do this for all four forms? I have no idea. Recoils with the MVP of this one. Holy fuck. If you didn't know on a normal hardcore man, you're allowed to die to this guy, but that message has sent me. And this is the Fremenic Trails completed. So much experience. Levels for absolute days. And the reason I did this was so I could get the Archer Helm. I may as well. It's plus seven range bonus, which is pretty good. And 
I can get rid of this thing. This woodcutter and Fletcher has been an absolute soldier and his long-term mission is about to be completed. See, I've been woodcutting and Fletching all this time just so I can get level 65 Fletching. And here we are, level 65. That's the level I need to make diamond bolts and ruby bolts which are absolutely essential to doing the Inferno. I can now make diamond-tipped adamantite bolts, but where do I get the Addy bolts from? Soul Wars. Now this has a lot of good loot, including adamant bolts as a common drop. The only problem is I need 500 total and 40 combat to play, and I don't have that on my alt account yet. Quick few levels gained, and this is level 500 total. I can now go and play Soul Wars. I have not played Soul Wars for like 10 years, so I've got no idea what I'm doing. It's going to be an experience. Imagine you're sprinting into a war zone. And this is the guy alongside you. Yeah, not ideal, is it? I need to do activities that earn me zeal. And apparently capturing the graveyards is a really good one. So just give me the MVP already. Wait, I didn't check if that was a dangerous death. There's no way. There's no way I've just lost a life to that. Surely not. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, that would have been so bad. You can lose lives in mini games like pest control, so that was a close one. First game done, I got 29 zil. No idea if that's good or not. I got 33 in this game because our team won. Nice one. Now I can go and buy myself some stuff. Here it is, the spoils of war. 30 tokens. I will buy one of those and please give me some Addy bolts. And the loot. You know, that's actually pretty good. Round two. Not so great. So... This is how it's going. Another crate. It's one in six for the bolts, so not too bad. Yo, I got them. 362 adamant bolts. I think that's all I'm going to need. I actually don't think I will need that many. I can always come back, so I'm happy. On the Fletcher, I can now craft diamond bolt tips, attach them to their bolts, and I've got some diamond bolts. I obviously did a split between ruby and diamond bolts, and here we go. I've got the bolts needed for my first Inferno run. Another item to the Inferno list. Teamwork makes the dream work. The green account can't quite retire though. I'm gonna get 75 wood cutting so I can cut magic logs. I need those for the desert treasure quest and it's gonna be fairly AFK so I may as well do it this way. Torvesta just became the most subscribed to YouTuber of all time and we only need a quarter of a million to beat him. So let's go. The next thing I want to do is the fight caves. I need to sacrifice a fire cape in order to access the Inferno. But there's one problem. If I die in the fight caves, I lose a life. This is another situation where hardcore group is more hardcore than hardcore Iron Man. I messed up. I don't actually have the fletching level required to make rune crossbows. So we're a peasant and I'm making an adamant crossbow with limbs I bought from Keldegrim. I think I need 69 fletching for these. I am also going to make myself some emerald bolts to do the fight caves. It speeds things up if I can just poison everything. Here we go. Here's the gear. I've done fight caves and worse gear before, but it's never had a hardcore death on the line before. Think about it, Jad. I can get one hit at any time if I mess up with rocking the bone crossbow and I've got the switch to the adamant crossbow and the poison bolts to speed things up. There's the warning message. If I do die, I will lose a life in here. This is the strap. Proc a poison bolt and then a switch into the door crossbow because these 360s take ages to kill. So all the time adds up over the course of this month. It's time to burn. There's no way I've actually DC'd while flicking this thing. <gasps> okay, my power is okay. Are we good? Let's go. No Jad hits today. Let's go. I took it so cautiously. I don't want another situation on my hands like the other day at Zora. No more fuck ups from now on. But now we've got the fire cape. Let's just put that on. No, 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 no. We're not going to be putting that on. Trading it straight into the inferno. Do I want to sacrifice my cape? Of course I do. Black money, let them all say amen. I'm just trying to make it clear. 